Hey guys, what is up? Today I'll be going over my microchip setup that I use in all of my smaller builds, like my swords. I stick with the same name brand, Adderfruit, so that all my builds are compatible with one another and I can just pop the chip into whatever one I need. I have been using the Pro Trinket, but it's a rather an old model and it doesn't really work with the new modern computers. So for that reason, I decided to upgrade to the Itsy Bitsy and I'll take you guys along today as I solder this all together. So let's get to the shopping list. So the first thing you'll need is an Adafruit Itsy Bitsy. The Itsy Bitsy is going to be the brains of the operations. This is where you're going to upload the code to command all your Neo pixels or whatever you're going to do with it. There are five different versions of the Itsy Bitsy, ranging from different capabilities. Some have Bluetooth, some have a higher processing chip. I picked this version because it was the only one I could find where I'm from. So the 32U4 5V 16MHz will do a job for me. So the second thing you're going to need is a LiPoly backpack add-on. The backpack add-on is the battery of the project. Well, not really the battery, it will allow the battery to power the setup. It sits neatly on top of the Itsy Bitsy, giving the setup a really compact design. The third thing you'll have to pick up is a LiPoly battery because this is the only really thing that works with the system, but it is rechargeable. So what I have, I have a couple and I just keep some of them charged fully and then when I just need to swap out at a convention then it's really easy to do. The next thing you'll need is a 2-pin and 3-pin JST cables. So the 2-pin is going to be for the on and off switch, the 3-pins are going to be for the NeoPixels. These JST cables will allow you to unhook the microcontroller to, from your projects so that you can bring them onto a different project. So the next thing you'll need is a SPT slide switch. This will be for your on and off button. You can do a slide switch or a button. Either works. It's totally up to you and the design that you want to implement in your prop. You need a micro cable that sends data. If it's not connecting to your computer, that probably means you just have a micro cable that is just used for charging your devices. So it's, if it's not connecting to your computer, then try different cables. Honestly, I just suggest picking one up when you buy all your electronics because you know for a fact that the cable from the website that you're purchasing from will have that data capability. So just a heads up, the setup will charge your batteries, but it's going to be really slow. It's best, like I said before, to pick up a couple batteries so that you can just swap it out and charge it before the convention. So you don't have to worry about charging or anything, you just swap the batteries and then you're good to go. But if you do want something that charges a lot faster, I suggest the Power Boost 1000C from Adafruit. There's a couple other things if you're brand new to soldering. I'll have the whole list down below that you can just copy and paste wherever you want to get it and you'll be good to go. Like I said before, there are five different Itsy Bitsy controls that you could possibly get. So you need to double check to see what one you have and verify what pins that you are going to hook up to. So we just need to solder the power button, the two boards together, and then the LEDs. This is a very basic setup. Once you get used to it, it's very easy to start adding multiple strips to different pins for different animations at the same time, or swapping to different anim animations using a switch or a button. I am keeping it super simple because I really don't have that much room in some of my swords, so I have to keep it very basic. So first we're going to start with the Live Poly Backpack. It's a lot easier to start with them separated than putting them together first. So first we will need to slice the copper pads between the switch on the backpack, which is the Live Poly Backpack is a smaller one of the boards. Once done, connect a 2-pin JST connector to the board. Next, take the Itsy Bitsy, the brains of the operations, and connect the LED JST connector to it. NeoPixels do have a directions and it is stated on the strip with an arrow sign. It also shows what line is power, ground, and data. Ground is white, green is data, and red is power on my LEDs. So please verify that before you begin to solder anything. So next, take the Itsy Bitsy and connect the LED JST connector to it. New pixels do have a directions, and it is stated on the strip on the arrow sign. It also shows what line the power, ground, and data is. Ground is white, green is data, red is power on my LEDs. The middle is typically the one where it sends the signal from the microchip to the, the NeoPixels, so that controls the animation. So you do want to verify that before you solder anything. I like to solder the Itsy Bitsy components on the bottom of the board while the backup is on the top, because they're just 
more room on the bottom of the setup to run the wires. So also take this into consideration on how you want to put your LEDs into your prop. If you need to slide it into a prop or something, you need to make sure that the connectors to the LEDs are pointed in the right direction so you don't have, so you have, so you have less strain on your wires on your microchip. Now that both are soldered, it's time to put them together. Take the three pin header, which it usually comes with a live poly backpack and attach it to the itsy bitsy. It's much easier to put this on a breadboard and solder it straight on to make sure that the, the three pin header is flush. After place the power boost on top and solder the three pins. So after that, the soldering is all done. All, that le all that's left is to plug it into your computer and start up Adreno. Soldering is all done. All that's left is to plug it into your computer and start up Adreno. Make sure you have the right board selected and you'll be lighting up your props in no time. And that's it, soldering is all done. All that's left to do is plug it into your computer and start up Adreno. Make sure you have the right board selected and upload some cord and you'll be lighting up your props in no time. I hope this video helped you guys in any way. Please, if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.